Leadership is invoking change, creating change, making change. If you're in a situation and you just to manage the status quo and move it from point A to point B without any change, you're just managing. If you're brought in, if you want to make a change, if you want to increase something, decrease something, change an image, now we're talking about leadership. Leadership is about change. A PR practitioner needs to develop a, a leadership mindset because they have to lead and they have to convince their client or their prospect that they have to buy this pitch. They do that by learning everything about the pitch. It's not just understanding what you're doing at that particular moment, but how it fits in the greater scheme of the business objective that the client wants, or your internal client wants, or in the complete needs of your customer. How does it fit in their lifestyle? How does it fit in their job? How does it fit in their professional life? So by understanding not just the pitch, but understanding where the pitch fits in the entire context, you understand and therefore you can better lead that conversation to a positive conclusion. When we talk about leadership traits, there are many. Leaders, there's been the old argument that leaders are born, not made, and that's not necessarily true. While there are some inherent traits, there are skills that can be learned. And one of the things that make you a leader is language. Powerful language versus powerless language. Powerful attitude versus powerless attitude. So therefore, one of the things that you need to learn is the skill set of how to be powerful in your language and body language as well, and how to be powerful in believing in a concept, making it true, learning it so, and involving others to influence them to become part of your campaign. Within this PR certificate, the leadership class will give you at least three, if not more, key specific skill sets. One, it'll teach you some of the definitions so that when you see them, you can recognize them in others. The communication skills, the leadership skills, and therefore your ability to manage them or manage your team become more precise because you're able to recognize and define what other people are doing around you. Second thing is language. We'll go through powerful and powerless talk so that you can understand how to present yourself in such a way that your talk is powerful within the proper situation, as well as to draw people in, as well as to push leadership out. And the third thing is how to manage people, how to understand what it is to be a good follower, because a good follower is within itself a leader. They're one man's floor is another man's ceiling. So while we might be a leader within our team, we are followers within our management structure. So the ability to manage that 360, if you will, of people across, of people down, and people above, are some of the skill sets we will definitely cover.